Hi guys and welcome to lesson number two in creating um, real life products. In this lesson, we are going to create um, the fidget spinner, which is here. Um, it's an advanced version of the spinning top, but again, we will be using the rotate tool. So I'll just click it and I'll show you it um, in 3D. So this is what we're gonna create. This is gonna be part of a series where we will create the bearing and then we will create an assembly for the product. So you can see there, that's what we're creating today. Um, if you feel confident and you can create it without the tutorial, have a go. The dimensions are for the inner circle, it is 22. And for the outer circle, it is 80. But if you'd like to follow the video, just continue to watch. So what we need to do first is go into Onshape. Um, then you're going to go to Create, Documents, and call it, um, I can't call it Fidget Spinner because I've already got one. So I only call it, I'll call it Spinner. But it's so important that you name your files correctly so you know what you're actually designing. And then click OK. This will then load us up to the drawing page, which you all should be familiar with now. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to hide the front and the right plane because I don't need them. Front and right, hide those. Then what I'm going to do is say I want to sketch. And where do I want to sketch? I want to sketch on the top. And I'm going to use the cube here to click the top face to rotate my view correctly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the circle tool. Now we know that if you press C, it's the quick tool to create a circle. And I'm going to try and get used to you using those letters for the tools. It just speeds things up a little bit. So again, we don't worry about the size just yet. And then we click another circle in the center, like that. So the sizes you'll need, so to get the sizes, you press D for dimension. And you'll notice that the uh, button highlights when you press it, so you know the dimension tool. If you're ever unsure, you can hover over them and you can see that the letters do come up with them. So it's good to learn the quick keys. So the outer dimension, click and drag across. We are looking at 80. Enter to lock it in. And then the one in the middle, for that one, we are looking at 22. Now, for a bit of research, we... I found out that the bearings are around about 22 in um, radius. Oh, sorry, diameter, sorry. So that's the correct me measurement there. So that's right. Next thing we need to do is we're going to put another circle above this one. Now, to find the right place for it, just hold down, um, press the C cue. You'll notice it jumps back to the circle here. Hover over the center. And you'll see those dashed lines appear, those orange dashed lines appear. Then I'm just going to click and I'm going to draw my circle like that. And I want to dimension that, so D for dimension. And I'm going to go for, actually what I'm going to do, I'm going to show you a trick. So rather than doing that, and I have to dimension it, if you come to the top here, we'll put a constraint in. Now a constraint is something that it fixes it. So we want to do look for the equals symbol. So this is an equals constraint. It means that if I click that to that, they're both going to be the same size. All right, saves me a little bit of time. I'm going to press escape to get rid of the tool. And then I'm just going to bring this down a little bit lower. OK, I want to just leave a little bit of space between the edges there. I'm happy with that now. So 22, 22, and 80. These are where the bearings uh, will be put. I'm just going to move these out a little bit so I can see what I'm doing on the next part. So next thing, we're going to add some geometry to be cut out of our spinner. And for this, we're going to use, like we did last time, the um, line tool. So again, L, and we're going to use the um, three-point arc tool. So L for line tool. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come quite close to this circle here, but not touching it. I'm going to click and draw a line down like that. Then I'm going to press the um, A for arc tool, and I want to join 
not join, draw an arc there. But I want to go the other way, like that. Very slight radius on it. And then what I'm going to do then is I'm going to do the arc tool again. And then I'm going to put a another sort of arc so it touches that edge there. And then I'm going to just make it come out a little bit like that. Okay, so what you can see there, we've drawn these lines here, and we've got this little bit of, it's not smooth, not smooth. So again, what we can do is we can use the constraints tools, and the nice one for, to use for this is this tangent one. So again, we're going to click that, and then click that, and it makes it nice and smooth. Now also, I want this line to be straight. It's not straight at the moment. I could click and try and move it by my eye, but again, we look along the constraints here and we can constrain it vertically. So again, click that and then we can click that there and then that line will move out vertically like that. And um, what we can then do is if we want to, if we think things are not quite right, we can just then make them a little bit smaller. I was just concerned then that that was too close to that edge there. So I'll just pull it in a little bit, just like that. Okay, now I've got my feature here, so that's my geometry drawn here. And as we did before, we want to rotate this around to make the sections that we cut out for our fidget spinner. So what we do now, um, again, circular pattern. Remember, it can be found from this menu here. Click that one. You're going to first select the geometry, so these lines here that you want to rotate. And as you start clicking them, you'll notice they start to rotate around the center point, which is here. So we click there, the first line. Um, Click that again, there, there, there. And there it's appeared. It wasn't selected before, but now it is selected. And you can see that it's popped those lines in like that. The thing we need to do now is not forget about the uh, bearing. So you can see that's popped in around there. Once we're happy with that, we can see the little green tick is telling us to click the left mouse button. So you click that, and then that locks that into place. So we've got our things rotated. And remember what I said before, if you're not happy, you can change um, these points, and it will change all of them. So what we need to do now is now we need to get rid of the lines we don't need anymore. So to do that, we look for the scissors, or T for, oh, sorry, not T, M for trim. So click that, and then we're just going to click out. I don't want that. I don't want that. And I don't want that. Okay, so you can see now we have our sketch completed. So we've got the, the shape of the fidget spinner. What we're going to do now is we're going to say, yes, we're happy with that. We're going to click the green tick button like that. And then we're going to look at it in isometric. There we go. Now we're ready to put on uh, thickness with this. So put the thickness onto it to make it look like it's a shape. So to do that, we're going to go to the extrude, click our part, and that is a little bit too high. I would recommend you going for eight. So another little trick you can do here is you can, while that's highlighted, you can roll your mouse um, roller, or you can just type it in, whatever you prefer to do, like so. Once I'm happy with that, I click that. Okay, so now we have our basic shape, ready to add some more features onto it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to hide the top plane like so. Now I want to um, add a fillet to the edges to make it look like the edges are rounded. So we do that. You can press the Shift and F. Now I'm going to change this fillet to probably 1.5. And then I'm going to select the edges I want the fillet to apply to. And you can start to see that, that applies onto my model. I'm just going to go around, click the edges like that. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click my, my right mouse button to orbit or spin the model. And I'm going to do the same thing on the underside. I'm going to click here, here here, just follow the line round, like so, 
Okay, that is done there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one last fillet in the areas where these two faces join. So it just puts a little curve, a um, very small curve in that corner. Like that, just to add some more detail. And that's what I like about CAD modeling is you can go in, you can just easily round corners um, and you can make things look really good very, very quickly. Um, I'm gonna leave the, the edges nice and sharp because that looks quite good. Um, when I'm happy with that, I'm going to click that and say, yes, I'm happy with that. And that is the body of our spinner created. Um, again, if you wanted to revisit this tutorial, you could go in and choose a different design, if you could have rotation. What we do now is we're going to name the part, I'm going to rename it uh, spinner, like that. It's always good to name your parts because as you'll learn in the next video, um, we're going to use this part and draw a new part inside the drawing and it's good to have the names here so you know what you're doing. If I right click here and I go to edit appearance, I want to add a color to that. Um, I think this time I'll probably go for red um, and maybe a little bit of transparency. Or maybe not. Use it like that. Red and solid. And then I'm just going to click OK. And that is the part completed for the spinner.